Samsung's Galaxy S25 series is expected to be a major leap forward in technology as it was rumored to be the first lineup featuring three nanometer chips. These next-gen processors promise enhanced performance, better efficiency, and cooler operation. However, recent reports suggest that Samsung could be facing serious issues with its in-house chip production, specifically the three nanometer Exynos 2500 chip, which was supposed to power the Galaxy S25 and Galaxy S25 Plus might not be ready in time due to production challenges. According to a report from Business Korea, Samsung is encountering yield-related problems with its 3 nanometer Exynos 2500 chip. Now, when we talk about yield, it refers to the percentage of chips that pass quality checks during the manufacturing process. A low yield means that many of the chips produced aren't up to standard and have to be discarded, leading to higher costs and production delays. Although Samsung has faith in its second-generation 3 nanometer process, a report indicates that the yield is quite low. And here's the kicker. They haven't even provided specific numbers to clarify just how bad the situation is. This leaves us wondering whether Samsung's Exynos 2500 will be able to make its debut in the upcoming Galaxy S25 series at all. Samsung's struggle in the semiconductor market is no secret. Despite pouring billions of dollars into its chip manufacturing division, the company still lags behind its main competitor, TSMC, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. In fact, the gap between the two has only widened in recent years. Just to put things into perspective, in the second quarter of this year, TSMC claimed a hopping 62.3% of the global market share, while Samsung's share dropped to a mere 11.5%. That's a massive difference, and it shows just how much ground Samsung has to cover in the semiconductor game. Now, here's where things get interesting. If Samsung can't get the 3 nanometer Exynos 2500 chip up to standard, they might be forced to use Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite chip across the entire Galaxy S25 lineup, including the Galaxy S25, Galaxy S25 Plus, and Galaxy S25 Ultra. Initially, it was believed that only the Galaxy S25 Ultra would get the Snapdragon 8 Elite, with the other two models powered by Exynos 2500. For many consumers, this could actually be good news. In the past, Qualcomm's Snapdragon chips have generally been seen as more powerful and efficient than Samsung's Exynos chips. So, if Samsung does make the shift to Snapdragon chips for all its S25 models, buyers might actually celebrate the change. However, this is definitely bad news for Samsung. The company has been trying to close the gap with TSMC and Qualcomm, and having to rely on Snapdragon chips across the board is a sign that it's not quite there yet. The Exynos 2500 was supposed to be Samsung's moment to shine, showcasing their ability to produce competitive 3 nanometer chips. Instead, the yield problems are a major setback in Samsung's ambitions to overtake its rivals in the semiconductor market. This issue isn't just limited to the Galaxy S25 series. It'd be an exciting release, but Samsung's yield problems with the 3 nanometer Exynos 2500 chip could force the company to pivot entirely. If they do end up using Snapdragon chips in all models, it might be a win for consumers, but a tough blow to time will tell whether Samsung can bounce back and deliver a competitive Exynos chip. But for now, all eyes are on the upcoming Galaxy S25 and how the company handles these challenges. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for the latest updates on the Galaxy S25 series and more. Comes upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, 
The Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go E25, complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Gilead smartphones. And here's another interesting tidbit. China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6. This is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices launched leaked photo a few days ago, looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone, expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6 overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.